Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Well, evening. Ah, it's time for another round of my expansion as I return all the world to death. It's like play with Moria in Dominions 5. So we'd had a good run, but found ourselves channeled by the mountains to force us to go south. So let's see how this went. Okay, so I'd set my god looking for magic sites. None were found. That's unfortunately not a big surprise, considering that we're playing in the late age. Hopefully we'll find more soon. Okay, and then our one big fight. That's how this goes. You can see we're running low on troops a little bit, but this guy is just incredible. My prophet hero, the ridiculous amount of hit points. Which combines the fact that he has fear and good armor means he's can be it's very hard even for a late age you know to kill. I should really have these guys hold. There's no reason they should be fighting for so long before he moves up to fight. I'll survive longer that way. So here we see again, you know, these guys not good at killing anything, but very good at not getting killed. He's going to be doing most of my work. They're just there to keep him from getting surrounded. Yep, and you see they're already starting to run. That's the fear effect. And of course, these are malicious. They have terrible morale anyway. And they're running. That's how you do it as a ghost. Frighten him to death. All right, I'll go make a change to them so they hold for a bit before they go into battle. And I got an unexpected event. Is it good or bad? It's good. All right, a good harvest. You'll all be dead soon anyway, but enjoy your food while it lasts. All right, I was wondering if I'd meet somebody here, but it's funny. Once I was out of my cap circle, this area here, Things have become so much easier to kill. There's just... Alright, so. Nice thing about ghosts, they don't care about the water. So I'm going to go to try to conquer this place. That is a tough fight. But if I hold this place, it's a good, nobody else can really threaten me unless this is like Atlantis down here or something. Okay. For now, I can just avoid the... Um, I mean, that's a small army, but I can just avoid them. For now, move out into here. Do I want to work my way back up the mountains? No, let's, again, I want to see them. Well, let's see how, how, that's a good income. And not a strong army. Now let's go for the place that I know has good in decent income and take that. Also, because I'm about to drop a my first temple here, and it'll help to protect it. Okay. Drop a temple. At this point I'm making almost a temple's worth of money a turn. So I can start building out. The great one of the great advantages of Amari is while we are very dependent on death gems. Our temples create death gems. So, up to up up to the point I match my dominion. So I can I think I have seven on this one, so I can have seven temples each producing a death gem. All right, so you're going there. Moving, you are going to okay. Here's something to see. Wow, you got hit worse than I thought you would. No, no astral at all. So I split my um. Trinity got up. So now they're three separate units, but that means they are terrible. Three death, one nature. You, see when she, you can actually see here, it was three astral, four death, three nature. Now she's put up, it's one astral, two death, one nature. Until they meet back up again, they're going to be that way. They're going to be just bad units. But it's still my best early site searchers. 
Oh, I need them to do astral. That actually hurts. I really want to find some more astral places. I'm going to have to send somebody around later with astral. You might go to astral one, though. Wait for my better unit. Okay, so they're going to search. You're going to move down here. We'll move here, keep the searching up. In a few turns, I'm going to have to go for you. But for now, I want to grab more land. You are. Well, on the way to fish am I recruiting? No. What's well, it's time to go find something. I want to know who's down here. So I'm going to send you down there to find out. You're busy building the palisade. Three more months. You have one more month. Good. You'll be sent there to build another palisade next turn. So things are moving pretty well, not quite the speed I wanted them to, but overall well. I still can't figure out why I can't cross that mountain. I really, sh I really think I should be able to. But I'll continue my explorations and expansion. I've got this valley now, and it's time to spread out further. I think that's it. Let's see how everybody else is doing. Okay. Yep. So I claimed one more. Caleb claimed one more. And who is that? Who Ulm is? Poor Ulm. They're having trouble. Uh, that's Atlantis. Atlantis is also expanding. This also expanded this turn. Looking at um, how income is going. Yeah, nobody's got forts now. Though that will change for me in a turn. Income, I continue to catch up. Soon I'll be in the pack, and that's fantastic. Because I started, you can see, way down here. Being in the pack is a huge success for me. Gym income, nothing since I got found those two revealed ones. But hopefully I'm looking at more soon. Well, that temple is going to give me more. Research. After my initial investment, I'm now, well, I'm getting a little bit, but I'm mostly lagging behind. Oh, I've got to look at what I'm casting. Atlantis is really pulling out ahead. But not, Caleb's not far behind. Dominion. Dominion's doing okay. And that's, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I'm fine with that. I actually don't want my Dominion to spread too far. I want really concentrated Dominion. I want really high Dominion where I have it. But if I can get some places that aren't dying, it would be nice. Oh, Kalem is again um, boosting the army way up into the stratosphere. Whereas I slowly grow, because I didn't lose anybody that turn. And the center point. So, it reminded me that I did not give these guys anything to do. All right. Do I, I do not. How's my troop? It's up here. I got you. Yep, I don't think this is a time to recruit you. I think you're going to all research. I really want to get to that next level. Oh, wait, you should cast. No, or should I save up? What can you cast? Okay, no, you should cast nothing. I'm just going to bring my, pull myself in, get myself running a nice stable of acolytes to get that research done. Once I've got, I guess five gives me 55 a turn, which isn't terrible for the early rounds. Not good either, but not terrible for the early rounds. Which you are grabbing another army. I'm just going to put you in one. See, this is great. This is another guy who can cause fear. Attack, closest enemy. Your orders are going to be attack rearmost enemy, and I'm actually going to put you over the side. Oh, like you guys. You can also do line formation. i put you there. Wrong one. Here, let's put you there. And you can actually hopefully run inside and kill some, because there aren't a lot of ND kings that actually kill you. You're actually quite a dangerous combatant on your own. So can you reach somebody to fight? Oh, 
get rid of that. Okay, so I'll go there. It looks like, would I fight them there? I don't think so, right? You know what, let's find out. This looks to me like, a, I actually don't, I haven't actually tried this. It looks to me like it'll get a free move here. Maybe because it's going all the way around that way. Yeah, it's got a lot of move. It doesn't look like it's going to be stopped to fight there. So let's find out for sure. Could you make it there and there? No. If I fight there, well, I, I'll accept. I'll take the loss. And then, do remind me, I do also want to... Put in some defense on that place I just conquered. All right, and I'm good to go. It's another exciting turn. I should soon be bumping into somebody else. They may not—they're not expanding fast, but I really expect there's somebody down here, and there should be somebody like up around here, I think, and around here looks like maybe. But I should be start writing to more people, and then life will get interesting. All right, everybody. Have a good one. Oh, I got a message. Yes, Lord Soth. Um, I put this. I played Omaria as practice last month, and that was the first time I'd played them. They're very different than playing the other nations I played. Simple in some ways, but but also because of how they limited. We can do. It. You just don't think about you know allocating for recruiting. It's just not a thing. Money. Exists exclusively to put down your um, forts. Maybe buy a few troops sometime because, you know, like I said, your regular troops can't hurt anybody. Yep. That's from Middle Age, right, Scalaria? They're the ones who became Omaria. It is a very tragic story if you read the actual back wings to keep repeating the same mistakes over and over again. In more and more horrible ways. The late age really is kind of a sad age. All right. Uh, have you ever played against Lemuria? I've never actually played in a Gilly Age middle play, you know, multiplayer game, but I hate playing against Thoria and Irmor in single player. It's one of those, it's just, even if you win, you lose. Because you conquer their place and they're worthless by the time you get to them. And they're so annoying to fight. You just can't march an army to land, which I will be weaponizing, of course, for this. Once my. I think I should have an impenetrable, back, you know, wasteland here that nobody can mar can afford to march an army into. But I can get bottled in if I don't expand. Still, things seem to be going pretty well. All right. Well, thanks for dropping by, Lord Soth. Great to have a viewer, and great to talk to you. Um, if you have any advice, let me know. If you have any comments too, um, Dave is going to be doing his a little bit later. If you look for Game Master Dave, you'll find him. Or I think there's a link in an earlier when I did. So he's in the same game playing Pythium. Talk to you soon. And hopefully I'll get another one of these up in, a, in early next week.